Today we are hunting the 10 acre homestead for the very first time with a 30-30 lever action. And wow, was I surprised what happened. So this gun is actually my dad's, don't tell anybody. Uh, he does not know I have it right now. I actually shot the first year I ever shot with this thing and I ended up shooting it in the liver and never found it. So I'm hoping maybe I can get some redemption with this thing. This is a Marlin side loader, ejects out the side and it's got open buckhorn sights. Let's make sure that this thing's shooting accurately. Here we go, we'll do our first shot offhand. That thing doesn't kick bad at all, really. So right here's our shots. That was the first one. I think I kind of flinched a little bit. And then boom, there's our next one at 50 yards. It's shooting these bullets. 170 grain soft point bullets. Pretty simple, but I think, well, I don't think, I know this will get the job done. Ouch. Yowch, boys, that got me right on the foam. Whew. I love that you got to cock the hammer back. This feels sweet. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I bet the rifle's definitely shooting dead on, up and down, maybe a hair left. But that's shooting completely offhand too, so we gotta be able to kill it with it. We're hunting the homestead today for the first time. I checked some trail cams last night up there. I am getting some deer on camera right around midday, so they must be bedding up here. I've had some deer in my yard. Wanted to make sure there wasn't any here close before we went into the woods. All right, let's see if we can die on this thing this morning a little bit icy but we're gonna go for a little bike ride look at that there's fresh deer tracks right here in the yard they weren't here last night so at some point they came through man it feels cool loading a gun like this and remember Cock that back one click. I'm just gonna walk up to my stand real slow. We might be able to shoot a deer on the way up there if we're real lucky. just got set up and I'm standing here and I happened to see that deer walking. He stopped short. I'm not sure if he smelled where we walked this morning just 10 minutes ago and smelled our tracks most likely and he turned back and went that way. I think it was a buck. I don't know how big. Maybe, maybe legal. I was gonna have to really look for that brow tine. I'm hunkering in for the long haul today and something else will come through. I know it. He did the exact same thing that first deer did. Came right to that corner. He went down though. I could tell it wasn't a full size doe at first. I was hoping. Pretty sure he had little spikes. I think that it's time for a little hot cocoa break. If you didn't grow up shooting a 30-30 and drinking out of one of these, it tasted like old coffee even though there was hot chocolate in it, then I would question your childhood. It's probably scalding hot too. it's December and it's rifle season, this will keep you warm. Holy smoke, I think I just burned my, my throat. Third degree burns, holy crap. There's also no better way to get a deer to come in than to break out the drinks. Should be any second here. I just spotted a deer tail down there. I can't see it, it's a little out of view but it might pop out right here.
Shoot. Dang it, guys. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh. Dang it. I got impatient when it counted. I was this close to shooting her earlier, so the next time she stopped, I was gonna blast her. When I did that, three deer ran from right below me that I didn't even know were there. I knew one was there. I didn't know two more were, but they would have walked through that gap that deer did. There's a buck up there. I just saw a couple does and a buck run through. It's the big buck. It's the big buck. It's a big buck, guys. Only editing have I realized what opportunity I missed. Although it looks like it's wide open from the camera view, in real life, there with the open sights without binoculars, I couldn't barely tell what deer was what. I just didn't feel comfortable sending a bullet up there. I could have easily wounded it. There were so many branches. I hunted the next day, but I didn't have anything come in range in the morning. Luckily, I was able to go out that night for the last few hours of the season. Tonight, we're going for a ground assault. And we're just gonna go sit on the ground where I saw two does come through last night. Clear out just a little spot to stand. That way when I move my feet, I'm not making noise. Just clear out a little spot. If any deer come down this way or cross down here, which is where they were coming the other day, maybe right down there, or even back behind me where my tree stand is up in there, we should get a shot at him. We got a doe coming in. Here he comes. And of course, right when I went to go shoot at that deer, I realized it was a spike. But if you wanna watch a video where a deer actually gets shot, watch this video where I deer hunt with Walmart's cheapest 50 caliber. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video.